playing sim games on the Oculus Quest. Hi guys, my name's Pete and welcome to The Birch. Uh, today's video started live as demonstrating a utility called Yur, Y-U-R dot fit that can enables you to record your uh, workouts um, within VR. Um, you can have a look at your heart rate if you've got a heart rate monitor. If not, um, it can actually guess what your heart is doing. And um, save all this to third party apps like um, Google Fitness. Um, it started life like that, but um, I'm also sh taking the opportunity to show you the big upgrade that happened today with virtual desktop. So we went from 1.8 to 1.10 and um, it's awesome it just makes it so much easier to play your games like Beat Saber anyway let's have a look I've got the overlay your overlay running um, on the PC in VR um, and it's streamed with um, um, virtual desktop to the Quest headset so we'll just play a game now Beat Saber it's a good test. It's also quite a good workout. Now I'm running version 1.8 of Virtual Desktop and um, the um, developers made some improvements um, since then. He's working on a beta. Um, so let's have a go at this. Oops. That was a surprise. Now there's a lot of latency, some latency streaming. And it makes something like Beat Saber where timing is important, really hard to play. I've played this natively on the Quest, but I can't record within the Quest. I'll try a casting solution, but it's much smoother with the year overlay on the native quest beat saber uh, this is terrible i'm just going to give up <clears throat> yeah stop it yeah okay so that's that's bad um but you can see i didn't use any calories and my heart rate and all that kind of stuff um so we'll play another game, but I might just try um, the beta and see if that makes any difference to the um, to the latency virtual desktop settings. So I'm using slice encoding, which is supposed to reduce the latency. I'm not using controller prediction, which might help in a game like Beat Saber. Um, but yeah, I'll might I'll have a crack at using the um, beta. And just see if that helps so uh, there's no mucking about with um, steam home page it goes straight into the game and here's my um, year overlay we're just going to play some more Beat Saber This is way better. Still probably not quite as good as running Beat Saber natively um, in the Quest headset, but if you're like me and you don't like paying for games more than once, um, playing games on your PC, on your Quest, using virtual desktop, is getting better and better. Doesn't make you any better player, of course. This is definitely playable. <coughs> Hundred 
So you probably don't need to see a really bad player play beat Stavo badly. But this is just to show that the new version of Virtual Desktop is um, definitely way better. And you can see your workout. Now I've got this so um, it actually saves to Google Fit. Um, and I've got a new smartwatch, which I might cover in another episode. Um, so yeah, that's your and the new version of Virtual Desktop. Um, it's just left me in the middle of nowhere rather than kicking me back to the Steam homepage. The controls are a wee bit different. You have to long press the left menu button to bring up the UI, which you probably can't see. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, not so much in demonstrating the capabilities of Vue, but just showing how far Virtual Desktop has come. Um, if you don't, if you're like me and you don't like playing for games twice, um, just buy it for your PC and Steam and just stream it to your Oculus Quest. They're cheaper as well, rather than the Oculus, and they have specials. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe um, and the bell if you want to be notified of more videos. And uh, yeah, I might keep on this um, fitness lark and I've um, got a few other ideas. Anyway guys, I'll see you later.